Hello everyone, welcome to lecture 5, and this is actually the first lecture of section 2. And in section 2, what we're going to be focusing on is the elements of a computer program, and the elements of scratch programs, so we're actually going to go over what all these blocks do in this lecture, so we can start making some really cool projects I know you'll enjoy in section 3. And we're also going to go over things like the XY coordinate plane, some basics of graphic design, and things like that they're going to want to know so that uh, you can save a lot of time in the future whenever you're messing around with Scratch and the editor and things like that. So, as the title says, we're going to go over what's a computer program, and I'll just define it for you first. And in layman's terms, which just means in simple terms, a computer program is a set of instructions that you give a computer that tells it how to perform a complete a task. So again, computer program is a set of instructions that you're giving a computer so that it knows how to perform or complete a task and that and that program doesn't have to be perfect there could be bugs in it things like that but nonetheless it's still a set of instructions you're telling that computer and that that's kind of the core value of programming we're wanting to get at here so i've actually made a very simple piece of code here and you actually don't have to do it i'm not going to explain how this works yet because i'm going to explain that in about two lectures but i'm just going to demonstrate let's say i want to tell this computer to turn this cat in a circle so i'm just going to run a program to do it for me. And here we go. The computer's just doing what I tell it to do. I'm telling it to move 10 steps in the direction the cat's facing. Then I'm telling the cat, or I'm telling the computer to tell the cat to change the direction it's facing by 15 degrees in the clockwise direction. And I'll explain this all in two lectures, as I said. But this is just a demonstration. So, boom. I told the computer, I'll do, the, I'll do it again even. I'm telling the computer to just have this cat go in a circle. And I can tell this computer to tell the cat to do many other things. So there's many functions that I can do. And I want to actually go over some terminology that you're going to need to know if you choose to uh, continue your programming career outside of this or if, just to build up a uh, very basic but also very important computer programming vocabulary. And I'm going to go over. Uh, and Scratch doesn't actually use this terminology. So they would call, Scratch would call this a block. And they would call this a group of blocks. And they'd call this whole area here, and I'll actually zoom out for you, they'd call this whole area here a workspace. Now, the thing is, this is actually, and just to make things a little bit less confusing for you guys once you get into actual text-based programming, as we would call it, again, I'll take you to expert level and block-based programming, but there's something called text-based programming, which would be the next step if you choose to continue your programming career. So, this individual block right here is actually a function. Now when we combine these functions together we get a script. Now what if we have two scripts? And again I'll show you how to do all this stuff very shortly that I'm doing in case th this stuff isn't supposed to make sense right now like how this works or you know any of these features that I'm using like duplication and things. Although some of it's quite intuitive but I'll walk you through all of it anyways. But again an individual block is a function if we start combining these blocks, we get a script. If we have several scripts, that's okay because these are still all in the same class. So instead of calling this huge area here a workspace, all this workspace is, is actually a class. So this whole area is a class, and inside this class we can have scripts, and these scripts are just built up out of functions, or the scripts can just be an individual function. Kind of like how this right here would be both a script and a function. But if we combine them, it's just a script that's made out of functions. And that is essentially the basics of some terminology. I explained to you what a program is, and I even displayed or demonstrated a very basic program for you just then, turning the cat in a circle. And in the next lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the XY coordinate plane so we can jump into some graphic design tutorials. And once we've done that, I'll teach you what all these blocks soon. We'll start working on some really cool projects. So I look forward to joining you in lecture six, where we go over everything you need to know about the X, Y coordinate plane.